Welcome back. Today we're going to investigate signal propagation delay. When you send any kind of signal through a cable, it takes a certain amount of time for the signal to propagate through the length of the cable, along with the cable, along with the delay. I'm going to open up the arbitrary function generator. Let's generate a square wave. I'm going to use 1 megahertz at 3 volts. Let's open up the oscilloscope so we can take a look at the square wave. I'm going to attach the output of the function generator to channel 1 on the oscilloscope. If I use the auto set feature, I can bring the square wave into focus. Notice how there's a little bit of ringing on the square wave. I can eliminate this if I use a 50 ohm terminator. Now, I'm going to connect channel 1 to channel 2 on the oscilloscope through an additional cable. Because the square wave now has to travel an additional length of cable, we're going to expect a small delay between the square wave on channel 1 and channel 2. I'm going to use this RG58 cable. It's about 3 feet long, so we'll expect a delay of about 5 nanoseconds. If I turn on channel 2 on the oscilloscope, we can see the two square waves. If I zoom in, we can make up the small delay between the two waves. I'm going to pause it and measure the delay between the two zero crossings. Just about 5 nanoseconds, which is what we expected. Now, let's try the same experiment, but a much longer cable. This is an RG58 cable. It's about 15 feet long. So we're going to expect a much larger delay. measured this delay. About 26 nanoseconds, which makes sense given the length of the cable. Now just for fun, let's perform a slightly different experiment. Let's change the square wave to a sine wave. Go back to the oscilloscope, bring the sine waves into view. We can see that this delay manifests itself as a small phase delay between the two sine waves. If instead of plotting channel 1 and channel 2 against time, I plot them against each other, you can see this phase shift represented here in this ellipse. The larger the, the phase shift, the more this ellipse would look like a circle. If the phase shift was 9 degrees, you'd get a perfect circle. The phase shift was zero, in the case of no delay, it would be a straight line. If I play around with the frequency of the sine wave, we can see these different cases. If I make the sine wave 10 megahertz, while the delay is the same, the phase shift is now much closer to 90, so we get something that looks much more like a circle. But if I make the sine wave 1 hertz, And adjust the time settings. Phase shift is practically zero, so we just see a straight line. See you next time.